So Lindsey Graham uh, put out a tweet openly calling for, you know, a general in Putin's army or a Russian citizen to uh, cap Putin. Somebody in Russia has to step up to the plate. Is there Brutus in Russia? Is there a more successful Colonel Stauffenberg in the <coughs> Russian military? The only way this sh ends, my friend, is for somebody in Russia to take this guy out. You would be doing your country a great service and the world a great service. That's kind of weird. Now Putin can say, hey, look, because Lindsey Graham is super high up in our government and he's calling for the assassination of Putin. Now Putin gets to use that as propaganda. We're asking people in his military to, to assassinate him. Just kind of a bad luck, man, for America. We don't usually do that. But Lindsey Graham is a bloodthirsty maniac. Did you hear Lindsey Graham uh, was out, uh, tweeted out he wanted somebody to assassinate Putin? And all the liberals attacked him for it. They did? Even a lot of the conservatives did. Do you think people high up in our government should be uh, putting yes. hits out on people? Yes. You're Certain people. You're a crazy bottleneck. No, I'm not. We got forces that can take care of it. Okay. We can. Did you hear Lindsey Graham, uh, January 6th, was yelling and screaming at the guards to shoot the, shoot the people inside uh, doing the selfies and stuff? I don't believe that. Are you kidding? That's common knowledge, Bob. You got to quit watching CNN. I don't watch CNN. <laughs> Republican Senator Lindsey Graham urged Capitol Police to use their guns and regain control of the Capitol on January 6, a new report details. What are you doing? Take back the Senate. You've got guns. Use them, Graham told Capitol Police, according to an extensive report from the Washington Post, which described Graham as, irate, that senators were forced to leave their chambers during the storming of the Capitol. We give you guns for a reason, he said. Use them. Hey, did you, did you hear Lindsey Graham uh, tweeted out that he wanted somebody to assassinate Putin? Yeah, he's just a windbag, though. You know what? I, I Actually, I think the heat's getting turned up on him, and he realizes that... How did, he just got reelected, so how'd that happen? Well, now we, we got to put up with him for another six years. Yeah. Never been a big fan of that guy. senators? I don't know. They probably could. Let's get rid of him. Yes. Yeah. Now, you know, January 6th, he was yelling at the police officers to shoot the... January 6 protesters. Well, and that happened. They yeah. murdered Ashley Babbitt. Yeah. I guess he got what he wanted. You think um, Lindsey Graham is kind of bloodthirsty? Whoa. Or just stupid? I think he's just stupid. And like, did you hear Lindsey Graham um, tweeted out that some he he was um, basically asking Putin's generals to to assassinate Putin or one of the Russian citizens to just take him out? Yeah. And uh, also, one of the millionaires in Russia put a $1 million price tag on Putin's head, dead or alive. Really? That's what I heard. One of the oligarchs? I don't the know. Oligarchs, who... All the oligarchs are having all their mansions and uh, um, yachts taken away from them, and they're mad at Putin. Well, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to believe. I don't either. It's so confusing because you hear stuff and then you hear the opposite. And yeah, I think everybody's lying to us all the time about everything. I think so too. I Except think about Lizzie, Lindsey Graham because we saw his tweet. Yeah. And we also know that he uh, told the um, police officers January 6th to shoot the protesters well, inside they did. the Capitol. They killed Ashley Babbitt, yeah. shot her in the back. Yeah. And she was trying to get people to, you know, to calm down because she ran into, you know, the Antifa and BLM undercover. Do you think Lindsey Graham is probably happy that Ashley Babbitt got shot? Oh, yeah. Do, hey, did you hear Lindsey Graham tweet out uh, he wants one of uh, Putin's generals to assassinate Putin? Or he, he's asking the uh, Russian people, hey, go assassinate Putin. Do the world a favor. You hear that? No, I haven't heard it, but it sounds something that Lindsey Graham would say. Yeah. He's a swamp creature. He's been there for a long time, and we need to get him out of there. The only problem is he just got reelected in 2020. So there's, we got six, five more years. There's a lot of swamp creatures. Term limits, but they're never going to vote to shorten it. It'd be nice. Yeah, you can't drain the swamp because the government is the swamp, and you can't just drain the government. You know it, Jeff. Trump was the only one that wasn't swampy. Speak. Do you think Lindsey Graham should have... Uh, got on Twitter and, and told people to assassinate Putin. Is that a good look for people high up in our government to be calling on assassination? No, no, it's not. 
No, it's not. Did you also know that uh, during January 6th, Lindsey Graham was in the Capitol screaming at the cops to shoot the protesters? Did you know yeah, that? he's he's part of the uh, deep deep state. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But he seems to flip back and forth. Sometimes he seems like he's he's on our side. Other well, side. he he knows what to say because he's a politician. So. Yeah. But the only problem is he just got reelected in 2020, so we got five more years of that douche. But they're not telling us the truth about the uh, Ukraine thing. No, nobody it's, is. It's nobody is. No. no. What do you think, man? Should um, Lindsey Graham have have gone on Twitter and uh, called for the assassination of Putin? No. Don't you think Putin is going to use that against us? Yes. And, and, and propaganda and stuff oh, like yeah. that, and use oh, that yeah. as an excuse why he's you know, potentially yep. murdering citizens. They he could up. just say, hey, I think that there's some citizens out there that were gonna try to kill me like Lindsey Graham told them to, so I had to blow up his daycare. Okay, so Lindsey Graham went on Twitter and uh, asked uh, Putin's generals to assassinate Putin. Oh yeah, I heard something yeah. about that. Was that a good idea, you think, for no. uh, somebody high up in our government to Abs be doing that? Absolutely That's kind of irresponsible. Irresponsible. Because then a lot say the same thing about Trump. Yeah. You know? Uh, Lindsey, very, Lindsey Graham is a bloodthirsty, dangerous crazed individual. Yeah. Dangerous and irresponsible. So did you know that Lindsey Graham was yelling at the cops January 6th to shoot the protesters? That's why you have guns! He was yelling at them. Wow. Yeah. What well, they, they shot what Ashley Babbitt, so I guess prob oh, they probably God. did that just to appease Lindsey Graham, maybe. What a rhino. Yeah. We're going to keep the fight going, guys. We can't give up. I can feel it. I think we're winning. We're finally winning. I can feel it. It's a vibe I feel, where I haven't felt that yet in the longest time. Can you feel the vibe that we're winning? I feel the something. The cavalry's coming! I feel something. The cavalry is on its way, and it won't get here until the midterms. It's a red tidal wave. We're going to win, Brenda. I hope oh, yeah. you like winning. Uh, Check this out. This, nobody in the win. country has this. Yeah. That freedom. Was freedom on it. Mm -hmm. That'll be my next video. Should we be defending Ukraine? Not even the Ukrainian fest, uh, rally in New York City. Yeah. Hey, follow me on Rumble. Uh, we have free speech there. I'm not censored at all. I've never been in Rumble jail, not even one time ever. I can say whatever the hell I want there. YouTube is the worst. Facebook is second worst, but YouTube sucks, man. Zero freedom of speech there. If they don't like what you're saying, they will get rid of you. So follow me on Rumble and do it!